Hi all, Tere here. Today I'm finally playing with July hip kits. I finally received them yesterday and quite quickly I wanted to take a look and now I'm thrilled to have my first layout done. Um, here I'm opening all the packages. We had the color kit including three of the new Pinkfresh Studio watercolors. They are liquid and I absolutely adore them. They are super easy to use and even though they are in glass puddle, they are quite quite strong, I think. But obviously as it's glass, it might get broken, but I hope not. Uh, there are lots and lots and again really much uh, HipKit Club exclusives this month and I don't want to repeat myself but I really like it um, because they are really matching together well and then there are some other things like from Bevels and from uh, Pretty Little Studio so the mix in these two like it's is like super awesome. Uh, today we have a new challenge over at HipKit Club member forum and it's a sketch challenge and there's this uh, sketch which has quite much of butterflies and obviously I adore it. <laughs> so that's why I started this all with cutting out the papers. Uh, you can see on the left up corner there's some some butterflies now they are gone you can't see it but anyway you will soon see it, see them again uh, I got them with silhouette they are exclusive cut file from HipKit Club uh, actually it was a butterfly red or something and I just cut out the butterflies there it was designed by Kim Watson and I hope she approves my little um, addition design <laughs> for the thread. Anyway, I thought these butterflies are super cute and they will go perfectly for the layout idea what I have in mind. Those photographs are surprise surprise my daughters who were playing uh, in our backyard one of the first warm days this summer and they had what water shower there and running around and getting wet and well we all Finnish people are getting super wild when it's summer because we actually can live here then no that's joke haha <laughs> anyway back to the layout um i have a couple of pink fresh studio papers here the one with the how to say it with the half circles, different colors, maybe that's the right word. And there's um, the one with the bird and light blue background is from Pretty Little Studio and the turquoise or teal green, whatever. Um, that's one from HipKit Club. It's exclusive and it's adorable. And I just cut out some paper pieces and starting to build the first layers. I'm using these scrapbook adhesives uh, foam dots which are really good and strong and um, thin enough for me because usually um, some of the ones I have been using are too thick and I want to have quite thin ones because I'm usually adding so much layers that if I add everything with foam it would be like super fat and again if I add all with double-sided tape it's super it's it's not good anyway uh, I'm adding two photographs they are giggling in each photograph and I I like this and I really like the uh, title hello sunshine it's again one of the exclusive cut files um, and I just want to really highlight the fun of the photos the memory of having fun so that's why i'm using those fun half circles and cutting them out and adding a lot of butterflies i'm going with quite um with one of my favorite color schemes 
with uh, bluish and greenish things but I also want to have something pink obviously because uh, those are girls in the picture and I think it goes so well with the team um, those photographs inc include a lot of green so that would be like really obvious color to choose but as those photographs are super green as you can see if I would add a lot of green stuff next to them they might not be seen that well so that's why I tried to avoid that forest green what's inside the, uh, in the photos yeah so now I'm just adding those butterflies flying around just like in the sketch and hoping to have some kind of nice design for them. I'm not sure how many to add and once this layout was finished I actually had like six or seven of them <laughs> left hanging on my work table so probably every single layout what I'm doing with July hip kits are including one of these butterflies but who cares there's no such a thing that too many butterflies now I'm using double-sided tape again from scrapbook at Swiss to add my photographs and the paper layers uh, adding some thread between because uh, I don't have any other soft things in this layout. I'm going to add some of those acetate rainbow stuff which were again exclusive thing from HipKit Club um, and probably also a couple of those acetate flowers you can see um, but not that much of other. They are all paper or um, cardstock or something so I really wanted the thread to have some kind of different texture there. Uh, while I'm adding these butterflies, I'm thinking that I want to have some more color to the background. I do love the white background, of course, but it kind of needs something. And I really wanted to repeat the water theme from the photos, so I guess I will go with the lovely liquid watercolors we had in the July color kit. But before that, a little color addition. Uh, these frames were from Pretty Little Studio and they are quite cool because they are yellowish and pinkish and they are matching perfectly for the layout. Um, I also added some of the exclusive Epamera, which were in July main kit. Um, the cloud, even though I, I didn't add it like cloud, but some. Um, and now I'm just getting these butterflies here. And I'm, I'm still thinking how to add the watercolors, because I don't want to add too much color for the background, so that's why I will avoid painting. Also because this is regular cardstock, it's not watercolor paper, it's nothing like that, it's just basic cardstock and I didn't add any gesso first. So the painting idea is kind of over <laughs> at this point. I must think of something else and I don't want to have any too dark things for there. But first things first, like these little flowers, I'm going to add three here, three there, and then there's the acetate rainbow, so it will be good. Once I have glued them, I wanted to see the colors, actually. Uh, this is first the blue one, but actually it's more like turquoise. The yellow is really yellow, it's really rich yellow, and if you like yellow, you should take this yellow, because it's actually yellow. Uh, I am, I'm also going to use this uh, paint from Simmers. It was in last color kit from June. Um, it has this lovely shimmer, as the name is, um, really glittery, shiny, um, even paste-like texture. So I really want to add that too. Um, I didn't like the green color 
which came from blue and yellow so I will skip that it's too forest green and as I said in the, be in the beginning of this video I will avoid that kind of green for this time somehow it's not for my mood today but anyway I'm just flicking these lovely colors around and that's it it's done and dusted but it was so much fun to do this layout it was nice sketch and if you want to join welcome to Facebook and join the challenge you have one week to join and you might actually win something which is always fun because people like to win even I do I would like to win like lottery or something and move to Australia or New Zealand or something but girl can always dream right so thank you for watching and we will see like in a couple of days or so but anyway thank you for watching and if you have any questions just throw them here in youtube and i will answer you as soon as possible thanks for watching and bye